What is going on, Lake fans? Appreciate you guys tuning in. A little uh, Lakers talk daily on this Monday morning. Thank you for being a part of the show. Monday through Friday, we're throwing up a little content here on YouTube. Um, reaction, topics, stories, anything obviously Laker related is what I'm uh, primarily uh, putting up on the uh, on the channel here. But if you guys can sub subscribe to the channel, we got a lot of content on ESPN LA to begin with. So thank you for being a part of the show. Uh, quick reminder, I got Lakers talk tonight. I'll do one hour on radio tonight. So if you want some more Lakers basketball, we can get into it. Uh, Lakers picked up two wins over the weekend. Took care of the Phoenix Suns on Friday in their best team win of the season. Um, came back. I know they keep digging themselves holes, but came back um, and, and got their first road win of the year. Last night, they took on the Portland Trailblazers across the street at Crypto and Portland's beat up. A lot of their main get, main guys are not playing. And then, of course, for the Lakers, no LeBron last night as well. Um, probably closer than anybody wanted it to be. A one-possession game in the fourth quarter. I know that wasn't ideal, but Lakers pull away at the end. 116-110, they got the victory. A um, couple things that stood out to me, and Lakers are now back at 500. They're 5-5. Five and 4-0 five. No at home, so I haven't lost a... Uh, a game on the at home yet, but they do have five road losses, which is something they got to obviously improve on. Six guys in double figures yesterday. Six guys. Um, I was asking uh, Darvin Ham before the game yesterday that was Friday's game. What they all envisioned about that the the depth that the Lakers have. There's Cam Reddish had some moments. Rui had some moments. D'Angelo Russell had some moments. Austin Reeves had some moments. Christian Wood. Go down the list on Friday. Everybody felt like had moments, and that is the vision, right? That's what they've been hoping for. Now, last night was different because Braun wasn't there, so without LeBron James, it's, you know, what you're asking players to do is going to be primarily different. Me, personally, I was excited to see the Lakers without Braun because I think that's going to give a lot of those guys that that exit valve that they always have with LeBron, where it's like, all right, I don't know what to do, just give the ball to LeBron. They didn't have that, so... You got to be more precise. You got to be more strategic. You just got to be better at what you do when one of the best players to ever play the game is not there. And six players in double figures, I'll put LeBron or I'll put AD to the side because AD does this whether Bron's there or not. He had 30 and 13, by the way, plus six assists, plus three blocks, but put him to the side. Um, Rui gave you 19 last night. Austin Reeves gave you 18, four and four off the bench, which looked like Austin Reeves. I'll get back to him in just a second. Cam Reddish, another 18-point for uh, performance plus three steals. Uh, Torian Prince was in double figures. He had 11. And then uh, D'Angelo Russell, who didn't shoot well, still had 11 assists in the game. So I, I think that's one of my main takeaways is can guys build some confidence while LeBron is not there? Now, hopefully LeBron's back tomorrow against Memphis. But can they learn how to play when LeBron's not there? Because th this is something you got to keep in mind. It's not just... Well, LeBron didn't play yesterday. There's been a lot of games so far this year where LeBron just checks out for a couple of minutes and Lakers go from down three to down nine or ten or down six to down 15. That's how quick it changes. So I think for these guys, it's not just, well, LeBron doesn't play a full game. This is what we have to do. How about when LeBron's just sitting on the bench? Do you really want this guy coming and trying to save the team at age He's about to be 39, 21st season in the NBA. The, the whole point of having all these wing players and all the depth that the Lakers have is so he doesn't have to do that on a night-in, night-out basis. I mentioned Austin Reeves. So Reeves coming off the bench now. Um, that started on Friday. I don't know how you guys feel about that, but feel free to put it in the comments below. I think it was the right thing to try something different. Um, Austin Reeves after the game on Friday was very open about, yeah, I don't know about this, but I got to do what's in the best interest of the team team first. I wish my performance was better. So I, I didn't put myself in a spot like this. Uh, but nonetheless, um, Austin Reeves coming off the bench in the two games that he's come off the bench. He's looked more like Austin Reeves he played 35 minutes in that game on Friday. So he's obviously playing starter minutes, played 28 minutes last night. And 18-4-4 four and four is a good night for Austin Reeves. Um, trying to think here. If I remember, let me go back one game. Want to see his final stats against the Suns. Lakers won that game by three. So he was 35 minutes, 15.7 assists. I mean, anywhere around there. 
right? Anywhere around there, I think you're getting enough from Austin Reeves. Um, but bringing him off the bench, I, I, I will say this. I was doing this yesterday, a little bit of an exercise in the pregame show. Michael and I were talking about it. Say he comes off the bench. Listen to the starters when everybody's healthy and listen to how, how good the bench is when everybody's healthy. So you would have LeBron, Anthony Davis, D'Angelo Russell. Let's put Torian Prince in there. Let's put Jared Vanderbilt. Let's just say that's your starting five. And I know some of these guys haven't even played yet. So we'll, we'll, we'll wait on that. But that, let's just say that's your starting five. That means off the bench, you got Gabe Vincent, Austin Reeves, Cam Reddish, Christian Wood, and Rui Hachimura. That's a deep team. That's a deep team. And I know you're not always going to have everybody healthy. Certainly the Lakers are a good example of that this year. But imagine when that when that dust settles. And then basically the last five guys that you're playing towards the end of the game is whatever 10 or whatever five is playing best out of those 10, 11 players. I know I didn't mention Jackson A's. I know I didn't mention Max Christie. We'll see if they can work their ways into the lineup. But it's pretty damn Pretty damn good starting five and a pretty damn good uh, five coming off the bench. Um, okay, Lakers got the Grizzlies coming up tomorrow. I'll be back on tomorrow um, doing a little Lakers talk daily as well. Lakers talk tonight starting at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, you can listen on the app. You can listen however you, you know, obviously you listen to the show in your car, whatever the case is. Uh, but please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for being a part of the show. And Lake fans, we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you.